Theorem 12.9 is the volume of a pyramid. So in section 12.5, we're looking at volume of pyramids and cones. The volume of a pyramid ends up being one-third base times height. So it's one-third the volume of the corresponding prism. For example, if I had a square pyramid, I could fit this into a rectangular or a square prism. The volume of the green stuff inside is one-third the volume of that prism. Let's see if I can draw this a little bit better. So here's my prism, which we already know how to find the volume for. I could fit a pyramid into this, where the base of the pyramid is the base of the prism, but then the pyramid comes to a point. This pyramid is one-third the volume of the prism. It's one-third base times height, where B is the area of the base, and H is the height of the pyramid. And make a note, this is height, height, not slant height. So when we find the volume of a pyramid, we use the height height. When we find the surface area, we need the slant height. Well, let's look at an example. I want you to find the volume of the following pyramid. Notice it is a square pyramid, and you are given the slant height. Try this on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. All right, if we're given the slant height, we want to come up with the height. So we're going to drop a line straight down and run this line across to create a right triangle within our pyramid. This right triangle has a base length here of 4 centimeters. It's half of the side length and we're looking for the H. So I can draw this outside to give me a little bit better perspective. 10, 4, and H. I can use Pythagorean theorem to solve for that H. I get H squared plus 4 squared equals 10 squared. Make sure, make sure, make sure that you put this 10 squared on its own side because that is the hypotenuse. So h squared plus 16 equals 100, h squared equals 84, h equals the square root of 84, which we can plug into our calculators. It's going to be 9.165. Okay, now I know my h. To find the area of the base, the base is a square, so that area will be 8 times 8. 64. Now I can pull this all together. I find the volume of the corresponding prism, which is base times height, 64 times 9.165, and then take one third of it to find the pyramid. So I take one third times 64 times 9.165. The volume of this pyramid is 195.523 centimeters cubed. And that's my final answer. The one thing you've got to be careful with pyramids is the height height is used for volume, whereas the slant height is used for surface area. Okay, next we're going to talk about the volume of a cone.